Is Hong Kong descending into chaos or parties? Either way, the Chinese Communist Party is threatening to intervene. This is China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. The situation in Hong Kong is getting out of control, at least according to the Chinese Communist Party. It makes sense. If the party gradually steals away Hong Kongers' freedoms without anyone noticing, everything is going according to plan. If people stand up for themselves, the situation is totally out of control. And obviously, the best way to bring it under control is for Beijing to get involved in some unspecified but threatening manner. A senior Chinese official in charge of Hong Kong affairs warned that Beijing would intervene if the local government proved unable to contain the violent protests. He said the protests have clear characteristics of a color revolution. So let's check in on those violent protests. Okay, that looks less like a color revolution and more like a colorful laser show. And sing along, which turned into a dance off. Hey, it's friend of the show Tom Grundy, editor in chief of Hong Kong Free Press. That uh, violent protest was in response to the arrest of a university student. Plainclothes police arrested him for what they called buying an offensive weapon. That weapon was a laser pointer. Protesters have used laser pointers to disrupt police cameras. The fear is that police will later identify protesters and arrest them for rioting. Those fears are justified. The city of Hong Kong has been in turmoil for two months. It's because of the Chinese Communist Party's attempts to gradually remove Hong Kong's democracy and freedom. Protests in Hong Kong have been heating up. Earlier this week, protesters lit a bonfire outside a Hong Kong police station. Police responded with tear gas, and one protester responded with a Molotov cocktail. The most offensive kind of cocktail. Well, after an espresso martini. This week also saw a thousand lawyers taking to the streets in protest. That's the second time lawyers have marched in the streets since June. So many lawyers. That truly is terrifying. And it's not just lawyers. Over the last two months, there have also been protests from mothers, retirees, aviation workers, government employees, and bankers. Yes, the bankers are out on the streets. This truly is chaos. On Monday, there was also a general strike and protests throughout the city. Despite Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam's warning that protesters were going down a path of no return. During the strike, Hong Kong police fired 800 canisters of tear gas in one day, which was impressive since they had only shot 1,000 tear gas canisters in the previous two months combined. I'm old enough to remember when police firing 150 tear gas canisters in a day was a record. That was less than two months ago. On the plus side, these protests have been a boon for the tear gas industry. And if you're wondering why some protests seem to end in tear gas, and others end in dance parties, I have noticed it seems to depend on whether or not the police show up. Interesting. But the situation in Hong Kong will only get worse. Protesters are already calling for another protest this weekend, and they're using lightsabers as a play on laser pointers. Meaning now, Hong Kong protesters will face their greatest enemy yet, a copyright lawsuit from Disney. And may I just remind everyone that Google and YouTube have taken to instantly demonetizing and in some cases age restricting our Hong Kong videos. That's why we need your help. Share this episode with your friends and family because YouTube won't. And now I'll answer a question from a fan who supports China Uncensored on the crowdfunding website Patreon. We couldn't afford to keep making China Uncensored if it weren't for the support of fans I call my 50 cent army. Let's see. Joe King asks, Chris, does the weather pattern around Taiwan mean that there is only a certain time of year it is possible to try an invasion? Actually, yes. According to Taiwan expert Ian Easton of the Project 2049 Research Institute, there are only two narrow windows of time each year that it would be possible to move large numbers of Chinese troops by boat across the Strait of Taiwan. I mean, if invading the island of Taiwan were easy, the party probably would have tried it by now. As it is, despite all the talk of invasion, the Chinese Communist Party probably would find the whole prospect far too risky, especially when there's turmoil in Hong Kong, which is a problem much closer to home. Thanks for your question, Joe. 
And if you have a question for me you want to hear answered on the show, sign up to join the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army by supporting the show with a dollar or more per episode. Once again, YouTube is demonetizing us so much that we would have to shut down the show if it weren't for your support. And to everyone, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time.